Uh, where no versus a uh, net one two three four <laughs> is net one two three four. <laughs> where uh, yeah. wait, well, it was eBay, right? No, it was net one two. Oh, net one two three four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. it wasn't eBay. Sorry. Which was You're which right. was a You're really right. messy Marthado, but was also accentuated by Scar, uh, <laughs> just mercilessly ripping Chris Best apart <laughs> on commentary. <laughs> Dreamland first, interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. We've been seeing um, a lot of weird. Uh, see, first the thing bits. is, I, I feel like. Uh, Chris Best is like a very aerial heavy uh, Marth, so he doesn't really go for those like grounded a platform. Yeah, things, grounded yeah. like oh, nice crouch cancel. Uh, those grounded um, oh, F smashes like below the platform uh, or up tilts, right? Nice. Wow, nice. What a turnaround from yeah. Chris. He looked oh. really on the ropes for his. Yeah, there. no. Uh, Azul did the did the light shield. But didn't get the edge guard. He, that he, he wanted. rolled on accident. Yeah, he rolled. Of, yeah. Oh well, you know what it was. He was at he was at a above a hundred percent. So a lot of no, he wasn't. No, 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 he wasn't. Cause he did the normal roll. I don't know why. He just screwed up. Yeah. That sucks. That was definitely a mistake. So this is what you want to see. This yeah. is what you want to see. Every time Marth gets and gets now, right above the ledge. Oh, okay. okay. Although um, I did notice, you know, in against in his set against uh, uh, you Marth, he um. He was sort of switching it up between whether he was just going for the dare on the up B or, or sorry, the bear on the up B or doing the, the Marth Killer. Mm -hmm. And that can actually be really valuable because when you do the Marth Killer, you've sort of shown your hand a little early. Yeah. And yeah. so even though the Marth knows they're going to be in a bad position afterwards, they know pretty much what position they're going All to right. be in. Briefly explain how to do the Marth Killer because okay. I actually don't know the exact like way to do it. Okay, so Marth I killer, know you... You, so, roll, so you roll towards the ledge. Uh -huh. It doesn't matter which way you're facing so before. So you're on the exact... Oh like, my god, what a tech and up B from Chris Best. Yeah. Azul covers it anyways, though. All right. So you roll to the ledge, so you're close. You're the absolute closest Absolute to closest ledge. you right. can be. You and hold in the middle light of, shield. In the middle of your roll, you hold light shield, which uh -huh. you can do just by holding Z. Uh -huh. And yep. then you angle the light shield back. It's not always necessary, but angling the light shield back will make you fall down onto the platform. Yes. And then either Marth just dies... If he's trying a sweet spot, or he lands on stage, and then you get a free punish. And you kick him. Yeah. Yep. All right. Makes sense. Yep. I've just never done it in practice. I know it's really good. It's really good. People yeah. should do it more. Mango never does it. Is it possible if every character has a shield? Yeah. Okay. It's just your mileage may vary based on, like, what your punish is afterwards. Falco has great punish because he has a gigantic, huge, strong bear, and he also has dare from ledge. Like, one of the only times dare from ledge is actually good. Yeah. Because it'll just pop the Marth off. Okay. If you get the reverse hitbox, you can double dip them, which is really sick. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, yeah. That dash dash. Marth he was trying really to, good. Okay. What he was trying to do there was try to read his uh, dash dance and catch, uh, catch, the, catch the back portion of his dash dance. Yeah. Dash yeah. attack on a... B both it of has these deceptibly characters deceptively far range. Both of these characters' dash attacks on the other character can be sort of brutal. I yeah, really. Ooh. Okay, I like that a lot. That uh, going for the shine. Oh. Uh, tournament winner. Not tournament what he wanted. And you know, if I'm Azul, I'm a little worried, given that that went to Dreamland and yeah. he's still. Yeah. Think he'll take it back? It's it's very clear that Azul wanted to go there. Oh, Fox. Okay, Fox on and back. No, to the stadium. The stadium. Okay, smart, interesting. Smart. I like okay. it. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Just haven't seen Azul's. Uh, Fox yet. I think I know he was like kind of like considering it in his previous match, right? Against uh, against Umar? Yes. Oh no 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 against, uh, uh, against um, uh, who did we see him play? Wavebringer. Against Wavebringer. Wavebringer. Yeah, yes. he, he was considering Fox, right? So haven't seen Spots. I wanna I wanna point out that they did not do neutral spawn. So uh, Chris Chris Best got a really cheeky like back here as yeah. he was coming off the platform. There. And that's uh, if if you if you ever want to see why neutral spawn should uh, always be a thing, watch S Fat versus M Two K at Shine, where uh, Zach gets zero to death. In <laughs> oh yeah yeah of yeah. yeah. The ports. There's also another one where like I think it was like Mango and Lucky, it doubles. Uh, oh uh, oh yeah, where they, they were both, both shine. Yeah, them off. They, they both <laughs> they both come down, drill, shine, and then do a shine off stage, and they get the exact mirrored combo. Yeah. Of uh, it's on the stage. Yeah, it's on the stage. Yeah. yeah. It's hilarious. That, hilarious. that clip is really So sick. so if you're ever a stickler for rules, you don't even sh you shouldn't even be a stickler for rules. You should just follow the rules and uh, play play with neutral spawn. Yeah. Don't do don't do the scummy thing, which is like do the neutral start. Ooh, do the neutral spawn. Because what if time matters, right? What if time Ooh. matters? Chris Best's punish game is starting to come online in a big way. You know, it was partially Dreamland in the last day, last one, but he still won most of the exchanges just through neutral and chipping away at Azul. But yeah. now his punish game is starting to yeah. Uh, yeah. to show up. 
Yeah. Oh man, Azla looks like oh, he Oh my gosh. A lot of trouble getting in right now. Uh, he can't lose the stock at 75%. That's not a good look. Chris Best look. still at a fairly low percent, honestly, on his third stock. Or second yeah. stock, but... So, um... Zoo and I theorycrafted this uh, okay. counter pick um, on the stage specifically. Okay. Um, he actually thinks, and I think it makes a lot of sense, and this is why PPU likes the stage. Marth wins on, on the neutral Pokemon Stadium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of the platforms. The platforms are basically just FD with platforms for you to combo on. Yeah. So, um, like, Fox really has to take advantage of the transformations. Um, and in that sense, Julian thinks that uh, the Fox should Ooh. play much more defensively on this stage, on the stage? Um, on, in the neutral sp specifically and kind of use the stage uh, transformations to his advantage. Wow, that so, was such a yeah. fast wave shine out of shield by Azul. Ooh, that was so much damage in so little time. <laughs> oh, oh, that's the tag, game. that's the game. Wow. Woo! Yeah, you know, honestly, as Marth sometimes, <laughs> if I'm up throwing a spacey and yeah. there's a Pokemon Stadium platform above me, yeah. I'm sort of it. makes my job a little bit yeah, easier. Yeah, I'm loving it. Yeah. Loving it. You're, you're up tilt, covers the entire platform.